My name is Alan and I am Continuing Care Assistant or CCA at Ivy Terrace Nursing Home in Trenton, Nova Scotia. I've been working as a CCA for the past five years. When you are a continuing care assistant, shifts can be 12 or 8 hours depending on the center that you work at, as centers provide 24-hour care to residents. Ten minutes before my scheduled shift starts, I meet with my fellow CCAs to get a report. Therefore, I must get there early enough to put my personal items in my locker and be ready for the report. During the report, my colleagues from the shift before provide me with information about the residents. For example, how they are feeling. Knowing what is happening with the residents is essential to providing them with the best care. After the report is given by my co-workers on the shift before, I check on the residents and start helping them get ready for the day. Communicating and interacting with residents to know more about them and their preferences is very important. For example, some residents may wish to have a shower in the morning or they may choose to have it in the afternoon. Asking questions is very important. Here are some questions that you may use while interacting with the residents. How do you feel today? I am here to do your care now. Are you okay with me doing your care now? Is there another time that I can come back and do your care? As a CCA, we take part in doing routine monthly vitals. These vitals may include checking the resident's blood pressure, pulse, respiration, and blood glucose. We have supports and equipment available for us so that we can provide safe care for the residents. During the orientation, you will be given the lift and transfer education to ensure that you are comfortable using the equipment, such as the overhead mechanical lift, full lift, stand-up lift, tub chair, and slider sheet. You will also learn how to inspect the lift and slings and the various sizes to use. Bed rails that support residents when laying down in bed should always be secured properly when the resident is in bed. Information can be found in the ADL binder or the resident logos, which is above each bed. Some residents have a bed pad sensor that is discreetly under the sheets of their bed and alarms when they move. This allows us to respond and help them with getting up at night or any assistance that they may require. Every day there are three meal times for residents, breakfast, lunch and supper. Residents eat in the dining room. Each nursing home may have a slightly different meal time protocol. Such as here at Ivy Terrace, the kitchen brings up the meal at breakfast, lunch and supper and we serve it to the residents. At some other centres, the meals arrive from the kitchen already on plates. At all centres, part of our responsibility is to provide help at meal time to residents who require it. This may include helping them to put on an apron, eating or providing them with specialized equipment to make eating easier such as a plate guard and weighted utensils. Each kitchen will have a designated spot for the dietary book. This is a book with each resident's dietary requirements and is very important to consult before serving meals. Depending on the center, you may also have to place the dishes in the dishwasher. If a resident becomes ill with something contagious, it is important that we do everything we can to prevent it from spreading to other residents and staff. If a resident is in quarantine, you must put on personal protective equipment before entering the room called donning. Doing this in teams and helping each other can make this process easier. Once inside the resident's room, make sure to close the door behind you. Remember that we want to limit transmission, but we want to ensure that we give them the same personal attention that we would at any other time. Before exiting the room, you must remove all PPE. There are often activities happening that residents can choose to participate in throughout the center, such as bingo, church, or puzzle buildings. The residents may also wish to spend time in their room watching TV or have a visit from a family member. Depending on the center, laundry may be part of your responsibility. Remember to check the pockets for tissues or other items before putting items into the washing machine. Make sure to read clothing labels to ensure proper washing of items. Documentation of residents and their care is very important. These important binders include Care Plan Binder, which is developed by the RN and addresses residents' care needs. Staff are to review regularly for changes in needs and care. Resident Care Binder or ADL Binder. This is where the CCAs find the care information they need to give care to residents and document the residents' care they provide in the ADL. At the end of the shift, I meet up with my co-workers who are doing the evening shift. They will ensure that the residents are cared for throughout the night. During the evening shift, you will help residents get washed up and ready for bed. 
provide them with a bedtime snack, such as toast and tea, and check on their condition throughout the night. After providing report or an update on the residents to the evening shift, I pass over care duties to the next staff team. Being a CCA is a very rewarding and fulfilling career.